Every year, on the night of the accident, he rides again. Oh, Percy. That is a scary story. You're telling me. Percy just smiled. Driver said he saw it the other night. Just then, Thomas pulled in. Still telling that silly story, Percy? It's not silly. Daisy was about to ask when her guard blew his whistle and she had to leave. She couldn't get Percy's story out of her engine. Was it real or not? She asked herself. That night she was in her shed trying to sleep when there was a whooshing noise. What's that? Then, there was a screeching noise, and something rushed past. Daisy shut her eyes. Please don't take me! And the noise disappeared. Daisy didn't sleep that night. The next morning, she told Mavis all about it. Oh, wow, that sounds scary. And isn't it the date of the crash in Percy's story soon? Mavis asked. She was right. In three days' time, there was to be a memorial to mark 100 years of the crash. So Percy's story was true! She exclaimed and hurried away to find Percy. Percy was shunting at Farquhar. Percy! 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 Yes? Your story is real! No it's not! It was on TV! TV? It was on TV?! You lied to me! But... then... Then what was that last night? Percy looked confused. What? happened last night? And Daisy told him about it. He just laughed. <laughs> Silly Daisy, there is no ghost. And he left with some flatbeds. That's the noise. She said quietly to herself. That night, Daisy was on the lookout. No ghost will take me. I will catch them tonight. And sure enough, the whooshing noise came again. Then, the screeching noise. This time, she kept her eyes open and something large rushed past with some flatbeds. It's stealing 
flatbeds? She decided to set up a trap. The next night she had hidden some flatbeds and when the station master went home she moved them onto the line to block the way. Near midnight there was the screeching noise, then the large object stopped. Who put that there? Me! Stop stealing our trucks, you ghost! Stealing? I am repairing the line near the quarry. What? The diesel told her he was working on the line at night, so he did not interrupt normal traffic. His name was Lincoln, and he was being lent to the island from the EWS company. I'm sorry. I thought you were a ghost. It's okay. It's funny. He laughed. Daisy moved the flatbed out of the way and went to bed. Then she opened her eyes. What was that whooshy noise? Was that a ghost? She didn't need to sleep again for that night. But we all know what the noise is, don't we? <laughs> <laughs>